You clicked on this video because you want to fix Fortnite crashes, so I'm here to help you. So first of all, open up Epic Games, then find Fortnite, then click the three dots, and then scroll a little bit down until you see the word manage, then click on it. And now what you want to do is find verify files and press verify. This step usually fixes the problem because you're missing some sort of file that is making you crash in Fortnite. So after you verify, I recommend that you would at least try to open the game. But if it doesn't work, I have a lot of steps that may help you. Alright, so when you verify the game, all I want you to do is click these three dots right here. Go on manage. Now I want you to find installation and I want you to click this folder icon right here now I'm gonna just close up a games we'll won't need this for a bit now I want you to find Fortnite game then go to binaries win64 and now you gotta scroll a little bit down until you see Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe and I want you to click on it now go on properties okay and now what you want to do is go to compatibility and you see this button right here next to compatibility mode you need to press on it this has to be windows 8 i really don't care what windows version are you using if you're using windows 10 or windows 11 you need to run this at windows 8 it's the recommended one and now go to settings and disable full screen optimization and by the way this step works for most people and on the last video that I did about how to reduce input lag. Some people were asking, wait, Stelix, what does it do? So the short answer is it removes any incompatibilities with the Fortnite. So that basically means that Fortnite should stop crashing. Also, it allows you to use more resources from your GPU to Fortnite. So there will be less limitations. So that's a very good thing. And it usually helps you fix crashes. So all in all, so all and I'll uh, use this feature and click apply. Okay, now for the next step, all you gotta do is open Epic Games again, find Fortnite, click the three dots, find manage. Now you want to find installations again, click this folder icon right here, press on Epic Games, binaries, 164. Now go to easy anti-cheat and you want to run easy anti-cheat as administrator. Okay, now what I want you to do is press Windows R, and as you can see, you got to write local app data percent. You, you have to put the percent symbol from both sides. And now press OK. Now scroll a little bit down until you see for in the game. Now you want to click on Save, Config, Windows Client, and now you see your game user settings. I want you to delete them, but just so you know, when you do that, you will lose all your settings that you have. So after you go on the game, you will need to set them back to normal. Okay, now for the next step, we're going to update all your drivers. So if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, this won't work for you. By the way, you got to download the program called NVIDIA. Now you want to go to drivers and you want to check if there's any drivers that you need to install. I already installed them yesterday, I think. So yeah, as you can see, my drivers are up to date. I think I can check for updates right here. Yeah, as you can see, they're up to date. So make sure that your drivers are up to date. Okay, and there's also other drivers that you may want to update. So press Control S, right? Device Manager, as you can see right here. Now I'm gonna try to update my processors. So you just wanna find a processor, right click it, and you wanna just press Update Driver. Search automatically for drivers. And as you can see, I have the best drivers too. You kind of want to do this on most things and not just your CPU. Sometimes there's other issues, but yeah, I'll obviously try to update everything. There may be a few other issues that you're probably having. So your memory may be full or there's an issue in your temporary files. So all I want you to do is press Windows R, right? percent temp percent and i want you to click Control a on your keyboard that's gonna just get all the files and press delete and now some of these temporary files are being used by our cpu so i want you to press do this for all current items and press skip now for the next step if you have a hard drive you can just go to properties go to tools and optimize it 
if this folder has Fortnite or Windows, this may help you a lot. And now just press optimize. This may take a while, it kind of depends how much space you have. And also if you have too much space, I recommend that you would delete a few programs. I hope I was able to help you in this video and if you want to support me even more, so please make sure to use code not stocks in the item shop, especially if it works load up the game and use it please it helps me a lot and it encourages me to make more videos so thank you everyone who has been watching and if you have any more questions make sure to ask them and if you disagree with any of the steps i did make sure to let me know i read the comments that you guys sent to me so let me know what you think about these steps all right i'm gonna see you in the next video bye bye